Discord to computer. All righty. And now I've got to connect people. Uh, let me see here. Um, more. And so I told you about this guy, right? This waiting room, remove report, ask to start video. How do I, how do I get these Alex. people out of the waiting room? So um, I, in high school, I would drive, I would walk down. Here we um, go. Oh, I see. An able waiting room. Oh, okay. So, anyway, he had all the um, comedians. So let me, let me turn so, like, on some cameras and, here. Uh, 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 Snooky yeah. FB, would you turn on the camera, please? Can you hear me? Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, turn on your camera, will you? I don't want it on. <laughs> oh, you're going to be a, you're going to be an anti-social uh, here on social media, huh? How about yeah. Rebecca L? Are you there, Rebecca? No, Rebecca just hung up. Okay. Anyway, uh, we just want people to call us. Here comes Al D. Simone. Hello, Al. Turn on your, are you there, Al? Al, can you hear me? Uh, he hung up. Okay. All right. Uh, wait a minute. Let me see here. Uh, uh, Smokey, Snooky. Uh, let's see here. All right. Where are you calling from, Snooky? Um, Manchester, New Jersey. Manchester, New Jersey. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not aware of Manchester, New Jersey. Where exactly is that? Uh, near Tom's River. Near Tom's River. Okay. How's things right. going over there right now? Oh, it's very quiet. Yeah. Ghost towns. Yeah, we're, um, we're about, what is it? Uh, we're about 55 minutes away from being in curfew here in New York City, uh, which uh, is not something that I am that happy about. But that's the way things go, right? Right. Uh, uh, are things quiet over where you are? Have there been any, uh, any riots or well, anything like that? Not yet. There's supposed to be... Um a, 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 a protest uh, tomorrow in Tom's River. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we're in a retirement village. Yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're what retirement village? Where? In in. It's Leisure Village West in Manchester. Yeah. Uh, is that something that's, it's not like, that's not like a, a nursing home or anything. That's no, 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 it's a gated community. It's with condos. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, our golf course is just starting to open again. We have two pools. We have bocce. We have two clubhouses. Yeah. But that's all closed. Okay. We have people saying they're in different places here or writing me, but none of them are signing on. Uh, all you have to do is, by the way, click on that, uh, that link. Uh, after it says more on this page here, uh, just uh, click, click more, and below it is the actual link. You click on that, and you can call us. Uh, I'm just testing this out to see how it works and if we get people. So uh, you say you're in a retirement village. Can I ask you how old you are, Snooky? 77. 77. Oh, wow. I've been listening to you forever. Yeah, you're a young, you're a young babe compared to me. <laughs> I had the virus and I recovered. Did you have the virus? Really? Yes. I, I tested positive. Did, how bad was it for you? Oh, two weeks of hell. Really? Yes. Okay. How, I mean, what were the things you were feeling? What was the hell? Oh, a high fe a fever. Well, not oh, high, but a fever. Uh, no, uh, I couldn't. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. There's Brian. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Brian. Anyway, hold, on. Yeah. hold on. Are you, can you get me, Brian? Hold on a second, Snooky. Uh, Brian, can you hear me? Huh? Brian? Brian? Can you hear me? You should be able to hear me. So, Hello, Alex. I don't have any sound. Oh, okay. Well, figure that one out. But anyway, Snooky, you know, tell oh, I... I mean, we have somebody here, Snooky, is having trouble getting their sound I... their audio. Uh, and he's trying to figure it out now. Um, can you hear me? You, can you, he can't hear me, so I can't tell him how to do it. 
but uh, uh, anyway, uh, Snooky. So what? Uh, you, you came down with it. You tested positive. How, did you know you had it? Um, Alex, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello, Shecky. You there? I'm here, Ben. See, he can hear me. Okay. I, 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 what you have to do is you have to, oh, well, I, I, he can't no, hear I can't. me. I can't tell him what to do. <laughs> I wish I, I wish he knew hand signals and then I, <laughs> you, 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 all you have to do, Brian, um, Brian, is go up, up and uh, go into preferences. <laughs> Tell me what to do. I'm listening. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, you can hear me? You can hear me? No, he can't hear me. He can't hear me. Look, go to preferences. Uh, preferences. Okay. No, I can't hear you. I can, sorry, I can hear you, but. See, preferences. See right there? Preferences. Okay. okay. Go up to preferences. And then. I just did a copy and paste. <laughs> what? I just did a copy and paste. Well, no, but he's got a problem getting the audio. He didn't have, oh, are you getting me now, Brian? Oh, Ryan, are you getting me now? Oh, well. Let Brian figure it out for a second. Uh, hi, Shecky. Good evening to you, Shecky. Hello, Hello, Alex. I'm just in for a couple of minutes. I have to go back to a Deanna Durbin movie. A Deanna Durbin movie? Yes, uh -huh. for the Western's channel. Let me see here. Uh, anyway, um, uh, first I want to find out from Snooky. She actually had the coronavirus. So so what how bad how bad was it? It was really bad, you said. Yeah. Um I'm originally from New York. My doctors are in New York. So yeah. um the first day I had the fever, I emailed my doctor and he said to get to an urgent care for testing right away. Yeah. Which I did. Yeah. And three days later they called me up and said, You tested positive, you're quarantined until April sixteenth. And if you keep, if you have trouble breathing, go to a hospital. Did you ever have trouble breathing, or did you just? No. You, but you just felt like crap. Yeah, no energy. Everything was drained from you. Did not eat. Yeah. I did liquids, but I did not eat. I couldn't eat. Oh boy. Well, and my husband, he didn't catch anything. Oh really? Yeah, he's asymptomatic. I just had him tested. He's negative. He's negative. Wow. Well, now you have the antibodies. You're going to give your blood so that they can. Uh... Oh, I don't know if I really have it. I have to be tested for that. Oh, okay, to make sure you have the antibodies. Yeah. yeah. We have some other people here. We have Kevin Neary who can't. Wait a minute. I can turn his mic on. Wait a minute. By the way, Brian is on mute. Brian, you're on. Yeah. Okay, unmute. Right. Unmute Brian. I can't unmute him. No, he has to unmute himself. Yeah. Oh, Brian, unmute yourself. Um, top right says mute. So you yeah. have to unmute yourself. I, I know I have. Oh, the, I'm unmuted okay. now. Okay, I okay. Can you hear me now, Brian? Yeah. Can you hear me? Apparently not. <laughs> hmm. well, this is the easiest thing in the world to okay. use, right, Kevin? Hello? Yeah, well, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can Hi. You, can you hear us? I can hear you now. Well, I heard you before, but off my phone. Whoop, whoop, whoop do you fucking do? Okay, fine. <laughs> we're we're doing just fine. Now I felt like coming on tonight and just doing one of these, which goes over Facebook, because uh, uh, I, I I've just been very depressed the last twenty four hours. I know Kevin has been as well because he wrote me about it. Um, this is all pretty pretty horrible. What's going on? You know? Yep. The worst thing, yeah. did you see that apparently Obama left the bunker filthy three and a half years ago, and when Trump <laughs> went there the other day, there was no food, and it was filthy. Oh, really? Well, why didn't yeah, somebody he, think to fill it up and clean it? He um, tweeted that out about two hours ago. <laughs> really? Oh, his And it's all Obama's fault that the room was filthy, and there were no provisions there for him. I am because oh, he never used it. 
Three and a half years, and I don't think Obama ever was in the room. I, nope. am, yeah. I imagine that Hitler had a nicer bunker. All right? I've never been in that bunker, never will be, and none of us will ever see it. But, <laughs> so wait a minute. So the Big Macs were three and a half years old in the bunker. Oh, okay. No gold leaf. Yeah. Why? Hello, Tom Yamaguchi. Why did he, What I want to know is why he went into the bunker. I mean, how much cowardice does he have? He, the, the, the White House is like this bunker within itself anyway. But did you see he turned all the lights off in the White House before he went into the bunker? No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. White House. Oh, because, because wow. what? The crowds are going to show up and go, oh, nobody's home. We better leave. <laughs> He, he didn't want the trick or treaters anymore. <laughs> oh, jeez, Almighty! Oh, hey, you hear he's mad. He's mad because people found out and they've been they've been publicizing it. So you know he's he's too tough to wear a mask in you know in places that he should be. But then he has to go run in the bunker. Yeah, he's a little baby when it comes to that. Boy, you know yeah. I'm sitting on the portico in my beach chair, <laughs> waving to the pet. You know. Yeah. Tom, you had something you want to say? Yes. Is this uh, the person that you call Shecky? That is the person I call Shecky. That is the Richard, also known as Shecky. Oh, nice to meet you, Shecky. Good to meet you, Tom. I've been hearing about you for years. It's the well, I always know your name, of course, from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, uh, he, you know, I mean, uh, uh, he, uh, that is the legendary Shecky, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I always mention the name Shecky, and everybody remembers Shecky. In fact, you weren't you weren't even Shecky before you went to the Letterman show, right? Nobody no, called you Shecky. That was Dave or Morty gave me that name. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's why I went back to Rick as soon as the show went off the air. Oh, really? <laughs> well, but I still call you Shecky. I know. People are allowed to, but, you know. Close friends can call you Shecky. Oh, I don't object to it, but it just sounds like when we'd have a new intern come on the show, someone would say, oh, that's Shecky. And I'd go like, hi, it's Rick. <laughs> <laughs> like, hi, I'm Shecky. You know, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that I did this tonight because I've been feeling like shit all day. And not only is the, uh, are the allergies just driving me crazy, but so is this whole thing, this whole, uh, uh, thing that's going on in the country right now and it it you know i mean what bothers me i guess the most are the politicians and i will include just about everybody in that and the way in which they look at this thing yeah it's okay if you d demonstrate the way we want you to demonstrate right it's okay if you do it our way but if you decide that you want to tear, burn a building down, that's not okay. And I somehow think that you, you caused the problem that, that made the rioting happen. You can't dictate how it manifests itself. Yes, but a lot of these protesters are coming from out of town. They're not people from 15th Street in Manhattan. They're you not people something? from your neighborhood in Harlem. They're like the woman who the Molotov cocktail came from 200 miles away, has 15 arrests around the country. Jeez. Her record. But, but you know, the thing is, Rick, my argument is, is that they're trying to bring this up. You know, these are out-of-towners. These are Antifa, now to begin with. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've heard of Antifa, but I've never met anybody from Antifa, and I don't, I've never seen Antifa. Yeah, but did you see the woman who was arrested? She has fake eyelashes painted under her eye. Yeah, but that's one person. Okay, yeah. but she threw a Molotov cocktail into a police van with four, pe four policemen in it. Okay, but I'm saying that's still one person. It but that's not a peaceful what the protest. President is saying, what the president is trying to make you believe, here's the thing. I'm worried that Trump's going to get reelected. And here's why he's going to get reelected. Well, because this is the beer hole, Butch. With, with all these riots going on and everything, uh, the whites will then say, well, I'm going to go for the guy who's for law and order. I'm going to go for, you know, for Trump. And I think, quite frankly, a lot of these things that are going on have been instigated by Trump. 
in order to well, get him elected. That yeah. this is, you know, the people who are going and, and uh, uh, burning down a 7 uh, uh, 11 or something like that are actually doing it in the service of Donald Trump because it's go- he thinks it's going to get him reelected. Does that make any sense at all? Yes. My, you know, yes, Tom. Yes, it makes a total sense. I mean, he's, he's sending these messages out to his his base. Uh, many of them, uh, I don't know if they're following this information with the Boogaloo Boys. Yeah. And uh, and uh, they're they're showing up. Not to say that there aren't uh, you know people on the left that are showing up. Uh, I mean, they've done that here in the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. I'm getting some. Hi, this some, is Mike Seaman here. Yeah. Hi, Mike. How are you? Pretty well, Alex. Yeah. I remember you back from Sirius XM, man. Okay, good. Yeah. Michael. Well, I, you were one of my favorite show, shows on it, you know? Okay. Yeah. That makes I've been sense. a Facebook friend of yours for a long time now, too. Yeah, I've seen your name. And on also your Facebook. wife, too. Yeah, I've seen your name on many an occasion. Hold on a second, Michael, because we were talking to Tom about this situation. Yeah, I was just moving my. Uh... Yeah. computer because the sunlight's coming by the way mike michael are you using an iphone uh i'm using uh, a uh, ipad we, turn it sideways turn that's it right. that way yeah there then, you go then, then we get we get you full screen okay cool. oh that's cool. cool all right anyway as you were saying tom yeah anyway so i said you know there's certainly we have what's been known as the black block uh, mm-hmm. And these go back to the Oscar Grant uh, um, uh, demonstrations, people that have gone out to actually uh, mm-hmm. cause disturbances, you know, throwing bricks and uh, through windows and, and setting trash cans on fire. Uh, and I'm sure that, that that element's involved in this too. But I do believe that uh, what they're saying is that uh, there are, as you mentioned, these, this, this whole uh, movement of, of what's called Boogaloo Boys that actually are intending to create a second civil war. Uh, they well, want to create I, a new race yeah. war. What I'm saying here, though, about what yeah, I, I know what you're is, saying, what I'm and, and it, it's definitely, it definitely fits in that scenario. Is that the, I believe the president, okay, is actually behind a lot of these burnings. I'm not saying he's, uh, uh, with the lootings, he's already looted America, so he doesn't need to do have anybody do his looting for him. But, I mean, I just think that it's in his, it was in his worst nightmare, this coronavirus situation, which he handled so badly and yeah. lost a lot of people. How do you get him back? Something like this happens, and... You get some whites who just, you know, said, well, I don't like Trump. But then they go, hey, but he's clamping down now. He's going to bring out the army. You know, I mean, he brings out the army and civil war is going to break out this country. I'm telling you right now. People are not going to put up with it. He's Hmm? certainly using it as an opportunity. That's for sure. Yeah. I what mean, do you think? I don't know if, if he, I, I, he we, we give him too much credit to plan this stuff in advance. I, I think he's taking advantage of it and is certainly uh, Steve Bannon and uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, the other guy. Um, yeah. yeah. Miller. Kind of, uh, Miller reminds me a bit of Goebbels, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, the, 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 the white supremacists of the White House are taking advantage of it. That's for yeah. sure. Uh, what do you think, Kevin? Would you prescribe to my little theory at all on any level? Well, he's certainly not, uh, he's not downplaying it. I mean, it, it, it's possible. I, yeah. You know, I, I don't put anything past this guy anymore. After what happened today, when he, when 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 he was in when they had that whole thing happen in front of uh, uh, the square today, and everybody was being so uh, quiet and uh, uh, nonviolent, and, and all of a sudden, I was watching the whole thing, and all of a sudden, they they walked across the street and started pounding and dropping the. Uh, they just got aggressive. The MPs got aggressive. Mm-hmm. And they pushed everybody down the street and just emptied the streets right there. And, I'll be back, and, right. 
And then the flashbang started happening, and then he had his little speech while the flashbangs were going off in the background. Yeah. And then he made his little walk across the, the park and held up the Bible in front of the what, church. What was, what was that thing and with Poland? That whole thing was for a photo op, and it's absolutely yeah. ridiculous to use the MPs for a photo op. I'm surprised that by touching that Bible, he didn't burst <laughs> into flame. I'm hoping they get him. No, it, it, was, it was absolutely disgusting because mm -hmm. then he stands there and drags other people in there. And those people, I don't know if they wanted to be in that photo op or not, but he made them get in there. And then, you know, he stands there and it's like, look at me. I've got the Bible. I'm in front of the church. I've done this. I've walked across, you know, the front of the White House lawn. You know, the whole place was cleared out for me. And then he walks back over there. Yeah, I was I was I was boiling. Now you know Shecky lives uh, what, five know, blocks, five blocks yeah. away from Trump's ancestral home. That's like the deal. Yeah, it's like the yeah, house. yeah. Uh, nobody's nobody's protesting in your neighborhood, though, right? Oh no, no. They should. <laughs> it, it, well, thank you, Tony. Whoever owns no, not by your house, though, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk no. right in front of his house. Whoever, Why would you do that to some poor person who was stupid My mother thought they were going to walk house. by the house this week, Shaggy, today. Are they coming to get the house? No, nah, they're in Queens Boulevard. <laughs> My Queens yeah, said they're in the neighborhood. Walk. They're going to have yeah. to take a bus to come over here. By the way, Tony, turn your, uh, t turn your iPod uh, sideways. Then we, then, because right now you're in what's called portrait mode, and we like landscape. Oh, then oh like this? <laughs> yeah, there you there go. You go. See? Yeah. Yeah. See? I want to see that. We want to see, we want to see that beautiful wallpaper. That wallpaper is coming down. <laughs> that wallpaper. And the curtains. In case people haven't I broke a seen our door. show, but that although most of the people here have, except Michael hasn't been on, and uh, Shecky very seldom calls the show. Uh, well, he never calls the show. This is the second time he's <clears> called <throat> me when I'm doing this on, because it's really easy, right, Shecky? That's I, correct. And he's lying there in bed anyway, so he may as well. I'm going to be in there later watching But uh, uh, it, it, uh, it, 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 it has that wallpaper. What's that, what is that? flag? Is that Denmark? Sweden. 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 I, I visited Sweden. My mom was born there. Yeah. Sweden. I visited the town where my grandfather was born, too. Oh, really? Svetla, right on Lake Vaynern. He's got paddling like my mother has in the living room. Yep. <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> she loves the paddling. Yeah, but, you know, that paneling isn't as bad as that wallpaper. I, this is horrible. Look at it. Uh, I, have I, I told you about this so wallpaper of his, Rick? Uh -huh. have I told you about this wallpaper of his? It's yes, you have. Very, yes. Yeah. Don't you like my painting? I think I, have, I have, have here. The, 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 the helping hand, the... Old man and the little oh, wow. girl in the boat there. Wow. She, that's by that? Emile Renouf. Remember the movie with Montgomery Cliff? Does any killer in the movie? What was that? Place and Gun. Yes, that was it. He yeah. threw right over. Ball Tom? He was good at it. Tom? Hey, since this is show and tell, I want to show Tony something. Although yeah. it appears backwards on my screen. But that's my union. Oh, oh yes. you got the name. I was tell you, yeah, Tony, uh, we actually do the same work. Yes. Tom, they we had to put off my physical. Work. I do it in California. He does it in New York. Well, he, does, he, he does it because he, get, he gets paid for taking care of his mother. You know what they said? Yeah, has it the same, it's like the the same work. The I mean, basically, uh, a lot of people here in California uh, get paid to, to, uh, to take care of a relative, too. I, I care for other people who are friends of mine. Well, in the old days, what you got when you took care of your mother was a nice approbation from everybody going, nice boy. But oh, now it's, it. here's 50 bucks. You know, I don't understand it. You know. Tony, what's going on with the hat factory? Oh, what's it again? Go out of, wait till I come over. I got a lot of gossip in the oh. US. It looks like it's going to be a fire sale soon. <laughs> I was hoping to pick it. Because <laughs> they can't sell anything. 80% is from China. I mean, I don't want to sound like Trump, but... And all the stores that they sell to, they don't he want to pay the bills. He used to work for a hat factory oh. before he got his mother as a uh, as a uh, meal ticket. 
uh, yeah, it's it's crazier than it. We had to talk for an hour. I just don't talk about anything. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me before I go to sleep. All right. Here now, now Brian is, is unusual in that he his company makes tests. Right. That's the best way to describe it. Yeah, we test the DNA for anthrax and infectious diseases. Right. And uh, and you're making some kind of something to test for uh, Corona. Yeah, the COVID right here. Yeah. COVID. Wow. What do you think, uh, Shecky? Do you think our governor's done a good job in this? Cuomo? Yeah. Adequate. See, you're not a fan, right? No, and I am to like him. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Who's that? You know, you know what? Cuomo. But well, I think it's when adequate I, when, and he's when a I say, politician. Oh, I got to ask you something when I come over about John Lindsay. I read a book on him, Shecky. I read the John Lindsay, huh? You're assuming you're going to be allowed to go over there. <laughs> or I'm quarantined. With my brother. You don't see anybody. Yeah, you're right. You can't go over there. He might get the the uh, the corona from. Yeah, yeah well, exactly. Definitely... If Alex can't come and visit. Oh, you're right. you right. Know. But I knew I don't yeah. have it. I would have killed this her. This is the right. closest I've come. I now. Really? I now, um, 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 and our Japanese restaurant closed. I can't. Believe I zoom it. him. I zoom him because it's the only contact I've had with him. And usually, what we used to get together maybe once a month. I used to come out by subway. Ain't no way I'm getting on a subway. God, neither will I. Alex. I'm taking a taxi. And no way I'm coming to pick him up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like you, Alex. I'm afraid to go on a subway. Oh, I I'm, Uber it to I'm, I'm well. You know, I mean, I'm I'm 80. I, I you know, death has its finger pointing at me. But you know how I know I don't have it, Alex. My mom would have been a goner already. And then you would have been out of job. I know. Can you imagine? I could have got double the money though. Now, Michael, yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. you, you had your hand up. I'm just saying, I'm waving at you guys. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> people put their hand up. It usually uh, means they you know, I, I just wave and stuff. You know, I'm, it, just, I'm it, just saying that I, I have good life up here in Schenectady. So, yeah. uh, oh. and nobody can spell Schenectady. That is a tough one. There was a uh, song about that. S C A E N A D. S C H E N. E-C-T-A-D-Y. Uh, okay. Schenectady. Schenectady. Oma General Electric. Yeah. Uh, here, Union here, College. Here's my question, though. Um, and Snooky, jump in anytime you want to. It's just we can't see you. Okay? Um, are you there, Snooky? Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm okay. All right. Just want to make sure you were there. And Brian, your microphone's off in case you don't know. Okay. Uh, these are things I can tell with Zoom. Anyway, so um, my question is, here we had the coronavirus. Everybody was stuck indoors. Nobody left the house. I haven't been out of this place except for a couple of little five-minute walks in, uh, what, 90 days, 95 days, something like that? I'm going what? squirrely. I mean, I'm, I, I think I have to go out. I got to do something. But anyway. So we have that going for us. And all of a sudden, the sun comes out. And everybody who's been going squirrely goes, I want to go outside. I want to be out in the sunlight. And then all of a sudden, this thing happens in Minneapolis. And everybody says, I got a good excuse for going out. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, how much do you think the coronavirus contributed to the accelerant, let's say, in the fire that are these current demonstrations? Probably quite a lot. I mean, really, you you agree with me then, Shecky? Yes, I, I do. So. Yeah, that that it's it, excuse for all those people to go out without masks. Yeah, and hang out. No, they wear masks and, yeah. because <laughs> if you not if, all of them. No, the masks have made it possible for them to lose. Not to be identified. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that is true. <laughs> it's made well, we've been going out. We've been going out, right. out here in Schenectady. Uh, I mean, I can go out. I see people you're walking in out in my where you live, neighborhood. Yeah, but you're, 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 already, you're already into up there. You're already into phase I'm two. I'm upstate. Right? We're upstate, yes. Yeah, you're yes. into phase two, I think. No, I don't think so. Not, we're not in phase. I don't think we're in Schenectady County in phase, you're, phase at least two you're or phase. even phase one. But Mall Valley two. is going into phase two, I think. Yeah. You know, like, I, uh, like uh, Amsterdam and those places and Utica. Because in our case, in our case uh, here in yeah. New York, uh, yeah. we're not oh, even in with anything yet. What do you want? You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
There she goes. <laughs> it, 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 oh, uh, we lost Tony. Oh, mama from the train. He turned his camera off. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, well, there's that hideous wallpaper again. <laughs> you know, um, it's it, uh, his whole life is like something out of Psycho. My feeling. <laughs> and and Shecky, by the way, is the big film historian, has never seen Psycho. This is correct. Yes. And I think you, you explained it to me once by saying you've never seen Psycho because you want to be able to say, after you've seen every movie ever made, you still have one left. Is that And I've seen Psycho 2. And you've seen Psycho 2. <laughs> How did you know the story plot line? Come on. Oh, come on. We all know the story. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he hasn't watched documentaries with clips, you know. <laughs> Uh, Alfred Hitchcock stuff, yeah. Yeah. By the way, on YouTube, that quiz show thing, yeah. the actual episode is up. The, the we, one that never aired. Oh, the episode. Oh, really? I got to watch it. Tell, tell them about this. It's a, it's a show that's on AMC. and It's, it's called it, mm. Quiz, and it's about Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the British version, which was the original Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And this couple, this gentleman, a major, who... <laughs> game the system by having people his wife and one of the fastest finger people would cough as he would go through the abcd they couldn't figure out how he was cheating they knew he was cheating but they couldn't figure out exactly well no but they have it on tape because they had you know yeah the wife never realized she was on camera being isolated the entire yeah. time he only mm -hmm. thought yeah. Yeah. you know they had audio I like listen to the radio like there's one, I was when I was watching it tonight, there's one question where you hear the wife and you hear her coughs and says no. Oh, really? Yeah. And then eventually after this, they went on celebrity um, wife swap. Really? You see, the thing is that this was a very big deal in England because what had happened... Well, that's the one that sold it to America, of course. Yeah, the but, it, but it, it was it became a very big show, and all of a sudden these guys learned, figured out a way to game the system. Or, but in this, doc, in this play, in this... It's based on a play, this three-part series on AMC. But, it, but, it's, it's, play. It, but what they've da done is they don't exactly make them guilty of it. They kind of no. it open to speculation as to whether they really did do this or they didn't do this. So I saw an interview with Chris Tarrant, who is the MC of that, mm -hmm. who at the time in court said, I'm not sure. And he just said something I saw last week. They absolutely cheated. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's very good if you have, have a chance to see it. It's a fascinating story, which I was first... It's also very good actors. It's the woman who plays Fleabag's sister. It's Matthew McFadden from um, the cop show, which I can't think of the name of this second, and Michael Sheen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it's, uh, it's very good. Oh, Ripper Street. Michael well, McFadden. The reason, the reason that I know about this is because they did do a documentary I downloaded a few years yeah. ago. From the Martin Bashir. Martin Bashir's did a documentary on it. Yeah. I, and I thought it was the most amazing story I'd ever heard because how did, when you've got somebody uh, isolated with somebody else who's asking the questions, how do you cheat? But they found a way. You know, they found well, a way often. Yeah. But it, anyway, where, where where were we? Okay, let's get back to... Well, Tony's back, so that's good. I'm trying to figure well, out. I know. She's still in the bed. You know, Kevin, you, you wrote me tonight and that. you just said this is horrible or something to that effect. Uh, you're, you're, you've been pretty depressed about this? It's just been bad all day. Yeah. And, I, you know, watch, watching what, how, how uh, Terrence Floyd tried to calm everybody down, it seemed like it was working. And uh, seeing everything develop after that was just – it, it seemed like uh, Trump kind of countered all that. Oh yeah, he incites. He incites it. It seemed he's like it was going to calm down today. He's a, he's a what? Magician. He holds up the shiny ball in this hand, and you don't notice what's going on in that hand. Yeah, yeah. It's called diversion. Diversion. It's a, it, exactly. it's what you do in magic. You divert people's attention. In other words, while you're working this well, hand. 
they're exactly. looking at this hand. Well, the other development today was that uh, they actually had that other autopsy come out to find out that yes. the, uh, the fact that the other three uh, officers had compression on the guy's lungs along with the guy with his knee on his neck, which involves those other three officers completely. They also said they had how many different instance, instances of this choking with police in Minneapolis? Yeah, there was what? At least 15. Yeah, like well, there, 15 or 18. Well, there were yeah. 44 cases that involved, that, that resulted in strangulation. Not death, but strangulation. But again, why, okay, so now you've put the guy in handcuffs. You've got him on the ground. Why aren't you throwing him into the police cruiser and taking him to jail? And why, why are you not doing that when he's, you're telling him to get up and get in the car, and he's saying, okay, I'll get up and get in the car. Now, for eight minutes, you're strangling the man while he's cuffed i don't yeah and, and, and the look and the look knee on his neck with your hand in his pocket and, and the, the guy, look. a cop is posing for like you know soldier of fortune magazine for the center it's true yeah the look the look on that cop's face was the worst when you see yeah. him look at me and I then, yeah and then, and then you know that, that the clips they show are just for like you know thirty seconds. But if you're if he's on there like that for you know for seven to eight minutes, like they say, looking like that, unbelievable. Uh, it, it, the other it, cops are looking for donuts. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you know, it. it, it right, give me your full teeth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alex, can you can you mute uh, Tony's mic? Uh, oh, come on over here about the false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is like watching a really good sitcom, Tom. Uh, wait a minute. Hold a second. I can mute him. Give he mama a popsicle. <laughs> I'll mute, mute him till he comes back, okay? And did you see a lot of those pictures they're showing? You know, who knows what's going on now? But, you know, these guys are – there's these pallets of bricks around some of these cities that aren't doing any kind of construction. And yeah. there are a bunch of pictures of these going around. And they're being so, they're being trucked in, you know. Yep. yep. Yeah. One kid was showing sh doing a selfie in front of the doing a video clip in front of the federal building, saying, you know, we're smarter than this, you guys. What are, what are people trying to do here? Well, the other that couple, one was a lawyer, and I forget what the other woman was who threw tried to throw a Molotov cocktail also into a police cruiser. Apparently, a video of them handing out Molotov cocktails to people. <laughs> in brooklyn oh my god yeah the, the arrests are going to show the more people they arrest the more people they see where they're from they also have the really good clip of that guy like he's like up in the staircase a little bit he has a malta cocktail and he goes and grabs the flames of throw them and he caught on fire and he ran down the stairs on fire but again <laughs> these morons they're doing malta cocktails with toilet paper <laughs> I, I would love to know exactly what items they are stealing because I, every now and then you see somebody stealing something and you go, why? Today I was watching, I don't know, somebody on NBC is doing his report and in back of him, a guy is running away with a wooden chair. <laughs> pillows. I saw pillows. You saw pillows? Games. I saw somebody games. coming out of a store, out of a store with board games. Board games, yeah. Well, you know, you if this is the coronavirus. You are sequestered in place, and when you get home, you got to have something to do. I the shoe stores. Stores. Okay, let's torch the place now. I got my blue jeans. <laughs> and the shoe stores. Do you think they're running in there looking for their size, or are they just grabbing stuff? You know, before well, I very place, story, story, and I'm said in a half <laughs> Some woman goes, "Hey, if you see thirty twos in there, grab them for me." <laughs> listen, listen, maybe I sound heartless when I say this, but when when people, oh, there he goes again. Now I got to shoot him. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, it's his job. Uh, we caught him at work. <laughs> no, I think he's off the clock now. Yeah, but no. Um, uh, I am not a person who goes, like the president goes, and they're burning these places down. Yeah. So, you know, there's rage going on here. Understand the rage. But secondly, so far as burning down these places, you don't think Walmart is insured? You know, they, they're, not, they're insured for this kind of thing. Uh, and, and the fact that we somehow 
put greater reverence to property loss than we do to people loss. Is he what was problem. really worried about it. Why wouldn't he call for peace? He hasn't done that once. He hasn't yeah. done it once. Yeah. Do, you, do you think one of the issues also, you know, they keep popping up these pictures of Martin Luther King and stuff. And do you think that that's one of the problems that even even our leadership, there's no leadership right now. There's no there's no Martin Luther King that that people can look to for civil rights. There's no if Cesar Chavez from San Jose. You know, there's no there's no person that people can look for. And then it sounds oh, like well, Obama's wait a minute, starting wait to minute, talk wait, wait a minute, we got <laughs> Al Sharpton. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> but, no, you know, I think Obama, you got, you got Obama to... started talking today a little bit. And I think he's the only person, and I know he doesn't want that kind of job, but he's the only person that can start bringing people together again. Well, I, what I, who I love uh, is Al Sharpton, because what he turns out to be is a civil rights ambulance chaser. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, that was I a was, Tawana uh, Brawley was kind of like a scandal, if I recall correctly. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, that, oh, yeah. Well, the him, fake... False flag. I, I, I love the day he got decked by somebody on the TV show. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I have to unmute. Uh, I've got you muted, Tony, so that we didn't I have to hear you. Tom wanted to say something, Alex. Um, yeah, I'll just say, I, I would say that uh, my suggestion as actually William Barber uh, with his uh, moral bodies, he's really good. And he's, he's re well, literally uh, re-resurrected the, the Poor People's Campaign. Mm. Uh, he did it last year on the... Uh, or was it two years ago? What's, yeah. it, what's his two name? Two years ago was well, the 50th you know anniversary yeah. of the original Poor People's Campaign. And what's his name? What's his name? Barber. I think his first name's William, Reverend William Barber. Never heard of him. You know, we've heard, heard of him. I think he's in North Carolina, isn't he? He is. William Barber? Yes. Yeah, I've seen him. I've seen him on TV some, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, he's very, very good. And I think so, yeah. He's a great, yeah. Uh, if you're looking for an organizer, in the style of Martin Luther King, I, I think really? he's probably the best choice right now. Do you feel yeah. that, uh, how do you feel Biden is handling this? Me? I, I think he's handling great. Huh? Yeah. I think he's doing very good. Do you think he's doing okay? All right. Yeah. Well, he very quietly went to a church today in Delaware and met with oh, Yeah. 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 Right. So, you know, I, I just, I think that we're, I think we're in a bad way right now. I really I'm afraid for the summer. I think it's going to get worse. Well, I mean, what happens uh -oh. is first we've got the corona. Now we have this. And what they're worried about here in New York, what our governor is worried about is he says, look, I believe in people's right to demonstrate and to yeah. protest and to yell and scream protest, okay? And he said, right to protest. He said, but I got to warn you. This might cause a new wave of the coronavirus in New York oh. City because everybody's getting close together. Everywhere. But, but he said the advantage is, is we've brought the numbers of people who've gotten sick every day down so low. Yeah. Maybe just because they are together a lot is not going to cause an uptick in the, uh, in the Hopefully. infection. So Hopefully. We'll have to wait. New York City has a curfew tonight. Oh, yeah. I know. Well, I, got, I listen. I got this thing, and it's like you know how an amber alert. You get an amber. Oh, alert. so cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's horrible sound, and we'll probably get it soon while I'm doing the show here. My watch went off, and it says alert, curfew tonight, eleven o'clock. Why so late? Well, we got to have a couple extra hours to ride. To, to lose. Right after the sun. Like, yeah. like you know, you're, 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 you're talking 30. about. We only, have, about? we only have like 15 minutes left for looting now. Hurry up, trick or treat. Give me all you can. We've got 45 loot scenes while you can. 15 <laughs> looting mi minutes to occur. <laughs> Last call. Aren't you a little old to be looting? <laughs> the, thing is, the thing is, the curfew goes from 11 o'clock at night to 5 o'clock in the morning. That's funny, Alex. And I was <laughs> thinking, oh, damn it, I can't take the subway. But then I can't anyway because they close it at 1 o'clock to clean it. So it's like when they come back from trick or treating and your mother looks in the bag, she used to throw all my candy out. The guy who taught me the value of the subways is the guy right there, Richard Sheckman. Okay. You know, if you get anywhere. No, really, you're the one who it taught me good. how to use the subways and, and how good they were and what a great form of transportation they were. And uh, now 
I can't use them. And I got so used to using them, yeah. Shecky, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, well, yeah, next seven myself. days. No, next Mike, seven what? days for us. What? Seven, do we have curfew San Jose, seven days, uh, 8.30 to 5 a.m. And, that, and that's because of the rioting, right? Of course, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what's interesting? I'll tell you a, a, a site, uh, an app that uh, has suddenly become worthwhile is the CBS News app mm. because mm. they have on it about 10 cities now, like mm. New York, Chicago, San Francisco, LA, uh, Denver, well, all. And last night I was able to watch the rioting in each of these towns by That's going cool. from channel to channel. Modern technology. Well, no, I, I think there are certain things because of the coronavirus and because of, of the rioting that have kind of come into their own. Uh, uh, I'm watching most of my news now on, on YouTube, and I want to watch uh, 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 yeah. our governor in the morning. I go to YouTube because I know <laughs> they're going to start it from the very beginning. They're not going to jump into it a half a minute later or whatever, and I'll miss some of it. So I watch it through there. And then, and this was just my, this was the absolute greatest thing in my life so far. Was that rocket the other day? It, it was nice. The yeah. space awesome. spaceship. Did you see yeah. put Trump on it? It was, it was awesome. Did you, Shecky, you kind of smirked. You, 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 how much money did we spend to send Trump down there twice last week? Well, no, that, that has nothing to, to do with the it. big Rocky go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I, 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 you know, can't watch it. What they did, what they did in that pea shooter, okay, yeah. basically, compared to a Saturn rocket, that thing's a little pea shooter. It's just to me amazing. And then because today we have all these great cameras we can send with them. We're getting high def pictures back from inside the capsule and they're giving you a tour of how you go underneath the, the screens and there's a whole place where they can hang out and do stuff. And they got their windows and, you know. Are they rioting up there? Huh? What? That's probably peaceful. Having riots on the space station? No, they're not. And then, then. It showed it coming into the space station. The space station was taking yes. a shot of it coming in and then docking. And you're yeah. going, my yeah. God, you know, I remember a time when from the moon all I got was a grainy picture and I couldn't even believe it was maybe them, you know. That's what they said with Stanley Kubrick. Uh, yeah, I mean. The best, the best <coughs> one small step it. for man. One giant leap for mankind. I remember I'll, that. I'll, I saw that. I'll tell you what, though. You watch this 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 capsule coming into the space station mm -hmm. and like looked at it and went, Kubrick was right. He was right. Well, he had the look down. The guy's a good director. There's no question. No, I no, love that twenty. But it has nothing to do with the direction. It has to do with the concept and the kind of special effects he did. In which, I mean. How do you think he did that then, Alex? Do you think he saw something? I wonder how he got that idea. No, he like, just well, wanted to do a space picture. But he recreated space more accurately <clears throat> than we ever could believe. You know, so. They, they have that shot from behind Trump. And if you watch that, <laughs> as the rocket's going up, the lady who is standing there and Pence both clap. You don't see him clapping from the back at all. His <laughs> arms are still straight down there. You see Pence at least clapping. And he's just standing there. So he doesn't care about anything. And then, the, know what's going then, then to add to it, the fact that they bring this first stage right back down, it lands oh, yeah. on the landing pad. You mm -hmm. go, my God, you know. I mean, I don't. The, be, the best I meme that I, the best meme that I saw on uh, social media was a picture of the rocket going up, and it said, "Nice move, astronauts leaving Earth at this time." <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice trip. They had to stay. They had to stay in quarantine for 14 days because they didn't want them going up there with coronavirus. That would have been. Oh, right. you know. well, they were in for a while. Yeah, it was more than 14 days, I think. Yeah, 14 and, days, and then they had to go back when yeah, they didn't here, go here's off. What I don't get. I they showed the they showed the inside of the space station before they actually emerged from the capsule, right? And there's some woman going around taking pictures. And then when it came to showing all the astronauts, there's no woman there. Uh, uh, is, is there a woman on the space station and they're just not giving her credit for it? 
I was that for. What are you, are you going to say something, Shaggy? I was just trying to think of the phrase. She's the press photographer for the space station. <laughs> she was the PR person for the <laughs> space yeah. station. I saw I saw a woman on on on, on, on the space station, and she was uh, riding a a bicycle of some sort, yeah. you know, a stationary bicycle, you know. Now, and all like, her hair was standing on top. To go up there, you know. <laughs> was she in a, in a bikini, or was she? Uh, unfortunately, not. I, I I I had hoped that she were were in the bikini, but and I, uh, and, that would have been cool. I, we saw something of some woman up there. It was a blonde. It's not recent footage. It's footage from maybe a year ago. And her hair is kind of like yeah. everywhere. And I said, you know, there's never a good hair day in space. I guess <laughs> not. The gravity. Yeah. Unless you get a crew cut. Uh, but, I mean, to me, in all of this, with the rioting down here and the coronavirus, and this, you know, to see this happen and then to look at this earth from that distance and go, what the? fuck are we doing you know we we have been blessed with this planet you know we've been blessed with it and i don't know i just it I, might it, be a rare planet i have to say uh huh? we have yet to find intelligent life yeah. in this universe you know so yeah. that includes awesome by the way <laughs> well i also and also, you know, to know we have so much control over things when you see all the smog going away in L.A. and India and yeah. all, the, you know, all the air clearing up after we've stopped everything. We're in so much control over this. And watch right after everybody goes like, you know, in a couple of months, we're going to be back to the same situation. We're just a bunch of idiots. Well, I just, you know, I was just I was awed by it. And, and it just for a moment made me feel good, you know, <laughs> and, and in all of this. We needed that. And um, the only thing that ruined it is I didn't want Trump to be there. I mean, now, he, he, had nothing, he had nothing to do with this anyway. You He'll know. take credit for going up. He the, always this wasn't it. okay under his watch. It wasn't oh, wow. financed under his watch. Yeah. Well, let's make sure that Trump isn't around in 2021. Hmm. Well, we'll have to wait and see. What do you think, Tom? Is he going to be around in 2021? Um, I'm going to do everything I can to keep that from happening. That's all I can say. You At know? least after January 20th, 2021, because that's Inauguration Day. And my question is, big question, if he does get beaten in the election, is he going to leave? Man, that's, a, that's a big question. I think, I think I'll worry about that when it comes. I, I, what I really want to do is... is, is, is get to him, you know, to get to kick them out of office. And that's what we really need. It's more than just talking about it. We got to do it. We actually yeah. got to organize and do it. So what, what percentage of those people you see, right, are doing demonstrations? What percentage of them do you think they're going to vote? That's the problem, I think. Everybody needs to get out there and vote. That's what uh, Terrence, Floyd, or Terrence or George said today. He said one of the things he did say was, don't forget about this vote. Make yeah. sure you vote. Yeah. Snooky, you Which still there? Smart thing for him to say. Yes, I'm here. Yeah. 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 Snooky, what do you think about all this that we're talking about? Because we can't see you, so we kind of forget you're there. All we see is your name. What do you think? You, you know, especially oh, he... you're like closer to my age, and uh, I could just take the attitude that, well, I ain't going to live that much longer anyway, maybe in another 10 years if I'm lucky. Do I care? Well, I do care. Yeah, how do you feel, Snooky? Well, I, I really feel that we're going to get rid of him. It's going to be the blue wave. It's going to be the women voting. Awesome. And, and I really am enthusiastic. I'm uh, a, uh, a committee member of the Democratic Committee uh, for Manchester down here. And uh, we're in a Republican county. <laughs> so Republicans. So we have a big... Uh, fight to get in uh, local Repub uh, Democrats, but we will do it. And I'm very optimistic. It'll be done. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. I'm just afraid that what's going on now in this country is going to take a lot of white voters and put them in the Trump camp. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Well, look at it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, we white people are, 
becoming an increasingly a minority. And it's just like, he's only has one third of the population, the voting population. He's always had that. Uh, and all we need to do is, is motivate people to go and do it. We could, I mean, he lost the popular vote. And it's just a matter of like 77,000 votes within three states. And it's mostly because people didn't show up. People either voted uh, stay at home or they voted third party. And once they get it in their heads that, you know, they make a difference, we can do it. But the, the, that's the important thing. I mean, the, the, the Russians were going to be, are, are going to be involved again. They're already into it. I'm, I think a lot of what we're talking about regarding uh, the, the, the current racial divisions, they're, they're, they're help doing what they can to stoke this as well. So once we recognize that they're going to interfere the same way, and that is to convince, try to convince people that their vote doesn't count, mm -hmm. you know, they will succeed. So that's what we got to counteract and let people know, yes, their vote does make a difference. You know, or what Trump said, what do you got to lose? Well, now we know what, they, what we've got to lose. Michael, where are you located again? Schenectady, New York. Yeah, up there. Well, about uh, about 15 miles away from Albany. I, you know, since I haven't lived up there since I'm a New York City person and in New York City, upstate doesn't exist. Uh, well, we actually exist, really. Yeah, I, I know mean, you exist. Uh, I say that facetiously. Uh, I know. Uh, 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 is it more conservative up there? Well, uh, I think uh, the, uh, the, like Albany is pretty big Democratic and Schenectady leans Democratic. But Troy, I think, is more Republican. Mm -hmm. And Saratoga County is quite Republican. Yeah. You know, like where you go and get, go for the races, that's Republican area. Yeah. But we, our, our representative here is a Democrat. Paul Tonko is his name. I think he comes from Amsterdam. Yeah. And uh, so we're, we're pretty liberal, but we're, we aren't overwhelmingly liberal or democratic, but we're, we're generally a democratic yeah. party. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, I, and of course, uh, New York City, I think, is pretty much liberal for the most part. You know, yeah. how does, Jackie, how does Queens tend to be? Is, is it less liberal? No, very liberal. Very liberal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yet it's the home of God. I don't think of any conservative. Exactly right. It's the home of Trump. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was going to say it's the home of Donald Trump, but then again, but Andrew Cuomo is five blocks from my house also. Just a he different is? direction. Holy yeah. moly, man. He's, he's like from Queens. That. Yeah, he's from I like Queens. Hodge. His old man was okay, okay right? Mario? Yeah. 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 At first, he, he voted across the street from me at the school. Oh, really? By the way, by the way, probably one of the best speakers I've ever heard. In he's good. I mean, just. Yeah amazing mm -hmm. but it was an era that an italian or any ethnic let's say jew or whatever couldn't get elected so right. he yeah. just didn't want to well, put himself through that mill they of, said over and over again cuomo for president cuomo for president and he wouldn't run and everybody tried to say well the reason he doesn't want to run is maybe there's some mob in his family that he doesn't want to go out or whatever well, Donald has more mob than anyone. <laughs> oh, but Donald's pure mob. I mean, what was what was Cohen? Is his lawyer? Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh yeah. Indeed. You know, he and his father wouldn't let blacks live in their projects in Brooklyn. Yeah. Well, that, that's saying something good about him. No. Uh, <laughs> Tom. Feels good to explode. Which reminds me, speaking of of. of of mob. Come on, mob. Um, did you see the stuff coming out this past weekend about Epstein? Uh, what, about, what about Epstein? Oh, what's his first name again? The guy committed Jeffrey. Suicide? Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein, yes. Um, well, the group Anonymous uh, mm. decided they were going to release some stuff related to Epstein. One was some kind of court document that was implicated both uh, he and Donald Trump 
into uh, raping uh, girls and, and boys, both, and paying them off to keep them silent. And another related document, they released um, uh, Epstein's little black book with all his addresses on it. Yeah. And among the addresses listed was Bobby Slayton. Well, yes, of course. And, and, uh, and so I, I saw this, this, this news site through Twitter. And at first I thought I was looking at CNN. But then I looked at it again. It was called CCN, which I'd never heard of. Well, no, a couple, but, a couple of about a when this whole thing first broke, they they released that those that phone book of, of Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, uh, did they release it? Yeah, the whole they thing? They did, it and, and that's when I first saw that Bobby Slayton's name was in there. Now, in case people don't know who Bobby Slayton is, uh, he's a comedian. who's a good friend of mine. Okay, been a friend of mine for how many years, Shecky? Forever. 40 years now? 40 years. Went to San yeah. Francisco. Yeah. And I remember when Jeffrey Epstein first got arrested, uh, I, I somehow at one point I, I called uh, 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 Bobby and I said, how are things going? He said, well, I guess I lost my place to stay in New York City. <laughs> because what happened was every time he came to New York City, he said, oh, I'm staying with this friend of Woody's. Uh, who puts me up in an apartment house that he owns, and he has a couple of empty apartments, and I stay in one of the apartments. And the guy who was putting him up was Jeffrey Epstein. So that's how he got into Rao's, I guess. Got into what? Rao's. What's Rao's? restaurant up by you that no one can get into. Oh, right, right. Because Bobby's always eating there, was always eating there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I won't. Just because somebody was associated with Jeffrey Epstein, like Trump, I'm not going to hold that against Trump, because Epstein ingratiated himself to everybody. Oh, sure. John Cleese was on the list. Uh, Alec Baldwin. Uh, oh, boy. I mean, a whole bunch of Destin yeah. Hoffman. He was yeah. one of these people who, who literally collected people. Plays from the yeah. Yankees. Yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, Oh, we just lost Shecky. Oh, they, what was that, Shecky? Your TV? My TV went back on because I had it on pause. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> um, so I, 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 well, wait a minute. It's 6-6 six, six, New York, Baltimore in the bottom of the seventh from a year ago. Oh, oh, so. oh well, I, I see. It's an old game they're running. Yeah, well, they're running last season, yeah. you know. As a sports guy, you must hate what's going on. I mean, you... Nah. I'm watching B Westerns. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. You know, uh, I'm watching Johnny Mac Brown Universal Westerns. I'm fine. Well, I'm, I want to. I'm going to close this off shortly here because I'm getting tired, and I just wanted to do this. This, you know, using Zoom is so much better than Skype. That you know that I'm probably going to start using it more as soon as I can figure out how to port it. Yeah. Well, into my other system. This way, I can only do, uh, uh, I can only do uh, uh, the picture here, and then I tell it, it go over and be on Facebook. But I may try it later this week because I've been having problems with Skype. And don't you think this works better than Skype, Kevin? It never seems yeah. to. It never seems I to like go it. out. It never seems to. Nice. Niche. You know, it's, 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 we don't have all that. Crap at the beginning of the show, anyway. And you've used this before, right, Tom? On other things? Oh, yeah, I've been using, I mean, several years um, that, you know, uh, different Quaker organizations I've been involved with, we've been doing meetings on on, on, on Zoom. Yeah. Uh, supposedly tomorrow they're going to be releasing their, uh, their quarterly profits and <laughs> their stock is just going crazy. Well, they're going to make fourteen ninety five more than they made last year for me. <laughs> I, I, I pay that. I pay them every month because that way I can do more than 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. you yeah. know, I can also have up to 100 people here. Uh, although when it, gets, it, when it gets to a certain I, what I got, when you called, well, no, I didn't have it set up. So when you guys called, it would uh, have, send you into a waiting room. And then I could let you in from the waiting room. But I think when I do the regular show, I'm probably going to have the waiting room working mm -hmm. so that it's not that I want to keep people out. But if let's say I've got more than 15 people, that's way too many people for a discussion like this. You know, mm -hmm. 
Looks like there's a lot of stuff going on down there in New York. What? What are you? Oh, what are they're you... banging in windows and doing a lot of shopping, and all the stores are closed. Oh, so. it's Christmas in well, June. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's it's after closing time. You think they yeah, well, they're they still mean, shopping. Too late. I told you it's too late. They're yeah. still shopping, but it looks like they're catching a lot of them. I there's saw a lot of... guys walking out with like seventy-five inch television sets. Yeah. Arms. Down here in Emeryville, well, you Actually, probably saw it, Tom. Emeryville was hit terrible. Oh, yeah. Best Buy. Yeah, Best, Best Buy, hit. especially. Over there at the, the Bay Plaza, was it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, the, yeah Emery Bay. There was yeah. no, no protest, just a bunch of looting. Yeah, so, so like, the, like uh, there's one section where it has the Best Buy, and then there was a Target store. And a new uh, sporting goods store that went across the street called uh, yeah. Decathlon. Right let, me a, let me ask you, though, Tom, and anybody else who wants to answer it, what does looting have to do with all of this? What is the dynamic in this that causes looting? Nothing. I don't know. I, I want to research it. But one of the thoughts that I'm having is it's it's about power. Power. And uh, and And for people who... Well, the whole idea of rioting is a, is a reaction to being powerless or feeling powerlessness. Mm -hmm. And so people are trying to get the power that they feel has been, been denied them. Yeah. And so when you put, you know, that all this stuff has been denied, it's, it's sort of like, it's not rational, of course. Yeah. But, can, but when people get frustrated and they feel like they have no recourse, suddenly logic goes out the window and... They can you know, see the cops and they goes. can steal it and Shecky. the cops can't do anything about it. Jackie, you were about to say something. Do you have a theory? Um, I'm going to... What, what, what were you going to what, what were you gonna say? No, I just think they want free TVs. Sorry. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, that too. TVs are so inexpensive now, there are better things to steal. Well, I, you know, at least. Well, yeah, that's true. If, and you've if, done if, that. If you pay the two hundred and ninety-nine dollars for the fifty-five, seventy-five inch TV nowadays, <laughs> but uh, they're doing that. Get a warranty like, with it, you know. They're doing that. I mean, there was a there was a, a store on the promenade that was a, um, a family uh, jewelry store, thirty years jewelry store, a family jewelry store on the promenade down in Santa Monica that was ripped open and they stole everything they could see in there. They ripped it clean. And these are a 30 year, you know, 30 year family store. Yeah. And, you know, that's that's not good. No. I mean, that's terrible. But they're stealing toilet paper. They're stealing toilet paper too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, when I see those I mean, guys, I saw everything. Everything. See those guys with the TVs and no boxes. I hope they grab the power cord. It's going to be yeah, sure. Can, I, the next can, I, can I tell you what I see? Yeah, you can a, get those cheap. What I see <laughs> as a strange positive in all of this is that here are people who own a business that because of the coronavirus probably were going broke and going out of business anyway. This and was now, one of them. Now they get looted and they get to cash in the insurance. Yeah, could be worse. At least they couldn't cash in the insurance before. At least they can get some money for going out of business. Is My uncle was smart. He opened the hat warehouse and say, everybody take everything and come on out. <laughs> No, you know, what happened? The... you know what happened with the hat warehouse where you work? They would go in to loot it, look at everything, and go, eh. <laughs> yeah, right. We don't want this crap. And the ones I ripped the sizes out, they all be wrong. <laughs> it's not fitting. <laughs> oh, it's glued in. And That's not a medium. Hat house. You know, I, this has been good for me because I was, I was just feeling, I just got to say something about this, you know. Uh, and, uh, and I was so outraged. And then when you people called up, you had such decent attitudes that my attitude is better now. See? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, that's what we're here for. I know. I know. And uh, you know what? It's, it's like a you good said. Thing I looked at, yeah. It's a good thing I looked at my phone and saw the notification yeah. from Facebook. Otherwise, I would have missed yeah. you again. Yeah, I had the phone on my table. I was watching CNN. It's always, I think he's on. Well, luckily, we got all the, uh, from the from the show, the normal show, we got all the good people. And the new people are, we have, <laughs> the people we don't normally have, like Shecky and Michael and Snooky, uh, are, are fine, too. And we, you know, 
it's 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 been really nice and i thank you all for helping me participate in thank it. you for having us and uh, thanks and and uh, 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 i uh, guess uh, i guess we'll uh, just say that's it and uh, thank you all for being here thank i'll tell you speak ben okay thank good, you. Night, good night everybody good night, good night. Good night.